Creating characters can be a time-consuming and sometimes a difficult task for different reasons, and it is especially related to the needs of your project. But the good thing is that there are some great Blender add-ons that can help you with that. These add-ons I chose for you will help you for the most part generate the characters and not make them from scratch, which is a huge time saver, especially if you want to put them in the background or use them to create crowds. But there are also other add-ons in today's video that can help you prepare for making your own custom-made characters. But before we continue, I want to let you guys know that the Blender Market is having right now a huge sale, where you can save 25% or more on over 11,000 Blender add-ons, courses, models, you name it. And by the way, if you don't know where to start, you will find a list in the description of this video with the best add-ons in all categories. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. First, we're gonna start with the human generator. As the name suggests, this add-on will help you generate a full human body in a short period of time. It kind of reminds me of creating your own custom character in Cyberpunk 2077, which is fun. It offers a big variety of parameters that you can tweak to achieve your desired look. So you can adjust the fat and muscle ratio with the body slider, or make your character look old with the age slider. And you can try different face shapes with the face slider. Also, you can choose the skin color and even add makeup and choose your favorite hairstyle in addition to multiple eyebrow options that you can choose from. Human Generator also contains a poses and clothing library. In addition to ready-to-use expressions, I mean face expressions, also customizable face rigs, texture baking, LOD generation, and a lot of other features that you should probably check for yourself. Now, if you want to create multiple characters for your game or your animation, you should probably focus on the hat first. And doing that from scratch might be time consuming, and that's where Random Hat Generator can be useful. This add-on will help you generate different looking character hats in a short period of time, because you can do this only using sliders. What the add-on does is randomizing values of over 100 shape keys. So forget about getting the same looking character twice. Once you click randomize head, a different looking head is gonna be generated. The add-on also offers some options to play around with things like age, weight, hairstyles, and skin color. Even though the add-on is called Random Head, it is important to mention that it keeps the generation process controllable, so you can always turn off some shape keys or change their values before clicking randomize. But for those of you who can't help it, but get involved in the character creation process, rather than hitting buttons and adjusting sliders, we got you covered too. Whether you are a beginner trying to learn how to shape your base meshes, or just trying to optimize your base mesh modeling workflow, this add-on called Block Surfaces will help you out. You can create the main volumes with branch and basic shapes, and then add details later. You can also do all sorts of transformations of the branch objects, so you can edit, move, rotate, scale, and even sculpt them, and the branch will generate, connecting the shapes within the volume from one object to the next. The workflow makes the creation of flames and all sorts of body parts much more intuitive for both beginners and professionals. And it also allows you to adjust the branch to a curve, which is helpful when working on tails or tentacles, and it offers all types of modeling features like duplication, subdivision, mirroring, muscle simulation, etc. Moving on, we have Lollipop Characters, which is more like an asset library that has a couple of stylized characters. It currently contains 18 unique stylized characters, each with their libraries of utilities and wardrobe of clothes ready to go, in addition to some assets. The add-on also has tools for character design, such as hands, feet, ears, noses, and more. While this add-on doesn't offer that much of customizability, especially compared to the previously mentioned add-ons, it can be useful, I think, for those who just need some characters on the go. Next, we have Base Meshes Character Starter Kit, which, as the name suggests, provides fully rigged base meshes, and the add-on can be a time saver since it offers 8 characters with good proportions, clean topology, and clean paint weight. The rig is compatible with both simple and advanced animations, allowing you to control every single part of the character. The add-on also provides 15 different parts to try different looks, 
without the need to redo the rig, which is really interesting. And the characters are well built with the clean topology and especially low poly count, which can be perfect for video games and maybe other real time and interactive projects. Now we're gonna talk about an add-on called Blob Fusion. In a nutshell, it combines the best aspects of Z-Spheres and Metaballs, offering you a very simple yet effective workflow which can be useful in many cases. With this add-on, sculpting characters can become intuitive and efficient using two primary primitives, Sphere and Round Comp Blobs, which makes the workflow of making a character a whole lot easier. And the interesting thing about the add-on is that by adding new blobs to your project, it kind of automatically generates a hierarchical object structure that has a rigging system for you to use. In addition, you can control the blobs bending to achieve organic and realistic results. I would also like to mention that it includes a library of presets for quick prototyping covering various forms like humans and animals which means you have a wider range of characters that you can start creating with the help of this add-on. And there you have it guys, if you are interested in one of these add-ons, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful and informative, if you did, please give it a thumbs up, also please subscribe to this channel to receive more videos like this, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.